Hello Hatchlings, it's Raven Blake, and today I am bringing to you my very first video of Meet the Artist. I know most artists leave this kind of thing as a subscriber milestone, but I wanted to use this as an opportunity to not only introduce myself, but to welcome you to my channel, so let's get started. Although my picture pretty much sums up most of what I'm going to talk about, I might as well get into detail. I apologize for this video being a little longer than I expected it to be, so if you eventually want to mute me and put your own music as a background, you're more than welcome to. Uh, my real name is Kelly, I was born in the United States, and I stand at 4 foot 9 inches tall. I am very small. I wear size 3 children's Converse shoes, I mostly wear black, I have a mixed calico tabby cat named Patches. I'm a Spaniard and, and of Native American descent, and I'm your average brunette brown-eyed girl. For my likes, I have hot chocolate, uh, pepperoni pizza, cats, art, obviously, why else would I be here? I'm really into aliens and the whole conspiracy thing behind them, I think it's very interesting. I currently love the game Overwatch, even though I can get a little salty at it, it's, it's mostly for fun. And I am a real sucker for buying bags, clothes, or items with food prints on them, or if they even look like food themselves. I love having internet, I think almost everybody does. The summer heat, since it's a great time to go to the beach where I live. I'm currently into Steven Universe, and my favorite character is Little Peridot. I think she's so cute and pretty relatable to me. I like whole milk, creepy pasta stories, and creepy stories in general, and crocheting scarves and blankets for the cold months of winter. Uh, for my dislikes, I ended up putting cold weather since I have a very poor circulation and very I provide very poor body heat. I myself don't like pain, although I'm pretty sure there's others out there who do, you know who you are, and yet I don't judge. <laughs> I'm afraid of thunder, uh, the loud noise really gets to my insides and it kind of bothers me. Uh, boredom is the absolute worst and I think most of us can agree on that. Having no internet, and I could go into detail as to why I don't like stupid people and retail jobs, but those are stories for another time. Spiders are just creepy with their little eight legs, and especially when they're really big, like huntsmen's or tarantulas, they just, they just creep me out. And apparently art block is a thing that links to boredom, so I don't like that either. <laughs> I'm in a bit of a twisted relationship with sleep at the moment, since I like and dislike it. Um, currently I'm suffering from insomnia, so sometimes the sleep is greatly appreciated, other times it's... Uh, I, I don't know how, I don't know how to describe it really. I hate sudden loud noises. Uh, they give me headaches after a couple hours, like either really loud music, um, a lot of thunder, um, basically anything of a sharp noise, kind of like a dog's bark. Um, crowded places make me un incredibly uncomfortable since I enjoy being by myself most of the time. Having no money, so I can't buy the things I want, can't buy food, can't really pay bills without scraping up a last minute job to get that done. And my last one is very cheaply made Mary Sue fanfictions, yet those would depend on what category or universe they fall into. But if you're a beginning writer or, you know, you're experimenting or that's just the way you write, go for it. You know, it's up to you. Uh, some things I hadn't included that I do like is my favorite color, which is cerulean blue. I like going to the beach at night, full moons, cool rainy nights, uh, my favorite band is the Gorillas, and I'm honestly into the rap genre of music, which is surprising because I don't usually dress or act like I like it. As for art, I've been drawing since I was two, barely able to hold a chalk in my hand and scribble on the sidewalk. 20 years later, and I'm bringing this video to all of you. As for some dislikes, I have a weak heart, so I'm not into scary movies. They really get to me. It's the tension and that sudden loud noise that I know is coming, but I get scared by it anyways. I'm afraid of the big carnival rides like this thing called the kamikaze and a fireball, but I do enjoy the ferris wheel, so not really many complaints on that. I don't like computers that freeze on me while I'm working, drawing apps that crash before I save my progress, computers that update without even telling you until right then and there it does it, and personally, I dislike dogs. But before you ask, let me explain. I currently have a big fear of big dogs. Their barks cater to the sudden loud noises like I mentioned earlier. 
I find them incredibly unpredictable and that terrifies me. And I'm really afraid of their teeth. I'm afraid of them biting me. I've been bitten before as a kid and from then on it's really scared me. Uh, but let's talk about this piece. Now, for the piece I'm, I'm working on that's on screen right now, I've never drawn inanimate objects before and personally I think this is a great opportunity to put my skills to the test and really try it out for myself. I've seen these meet the artist pictures and videos everywhere and decided that this might be a good idea, but I am very proud of this. I had a bit of a struggle with certain items and honestly, I had a hard time drawing myself. I'm not only I'm not really one to talk much about myself, let alone draw myself. The clothes on this picture is an outfit I own that I personally love to wear during the summer season. Uh, I don't tan, so that's a plus, and I've always had a love for overalls, but where I live, they're very hard to come by. In my donut bag, which has a little heart gem attached with my name on it that my mom gave me for my birthday, I carry my Alienware laptop and the mouse, uh, my Wacom Intuos tablet when it's with its plug and pen, my Samsung Note 5, which is usually in my pocket anyways, uh, with my headphones always attached to it. My personal art binder that I carry my artwork in, I always put my art on the front just to, you know, give it some flair, give it a little personality. I had a lot of fun coloring my Nebula folder. I've never drawn or colored Nebulas before, so, you know, that was actually really fun. And that usually carries scrap paper and old art that I do want to redraw someday, but again, a video for another time. Um, my lucky Sakura mechanical pencil and this huge clip eraser that I absolutely cannot find anywhere else. I got it as a present again from my mom uh, for school and I graduated four years ago. I still have it. <laughs> and my Harley Quinn and Joker lanyard. I carry that around everywhere. Now the Joker uh, little clip was originally on this little black leather strap. But that strap ended up breaking, so I ended up getting this Harley Quinn lanyard, and I ended up attaching it to it. And I've kept it ever since. And my favorite drink of choice is S'mores Coffee. It's the only coffee I'll ever drink, since it tastes so sweet, and I, I personally just like it. I, I love that kind of stuff. I like sweet coffees. Um, but I think that sums up everything so far, so if you have any questions for me, leave them in the comments below. I'll try to answer them the best I can. Don't forget to subscribe and become a member of the Hatchlings Nest if you haven't already. I'll have new videos up as soon as I can. Uh, leave a like if you enjoyed the video, and if you'd like to follow my other social medias, they'll be here and in the description. And um, I'll let the music run now, so I'll see you all later. Farewell, my darlings.
Thank you.